my stepdad was my top subscriber on my naughty website. Now I know what you're all thinking, oh, stepdad fantasy, could have made content from it, blah, blah, blah. This man had been in my life since I was 11 years old and spent $2,000 on custom content every single video that I sent out. When I caught him, he denied it to all of his friends and obviously my mum got rid of him straight away. But yeah, if you want to talk about family trauma, my stepdad watched me have SEX with my partner for two months. But we not. You not finna get sympathy from me. Cause you... You posting... You posting your naked shit. Stepdad wanted to upgrade. You feel what I'm saying? Your mother, who's the older model, going out of style. Her check engine light probably coming on. So he wanted to see what the new model was about. Hello. 40-something-year-old man leaves his family to live his dream of identifying as a six-year-old girl. <laughs> Y'all learned something today sending me these nonsense, boy. So, today is my first day of having my living room as my playroom. And my koro is here with me, but I didn't have any friends over for the play date because it's COVID time, but I'm having fun with Makoto, my cat, and with Franny, she's my baby, and this is Lily here, this is Lily, and then this is Little Bear, and this is Ella is right there. And that's Strawberry. You guys know Strawberry because you saw him before already. Makoto, do you want to come over and say hi? Makoto? No? Makoto doesn't want to say hi. Anyways, I just wanted you to see I made a tutu with my sewing machine. And... I was born by the river in a little tent. Oh, I and just like the river, I've been running ever since. <laughs> it's been a long. A long time coming, but I know a change gonna come. Oh, yes, it will. Y'all trying to get me canceled. That's what the fuck going on. <laughs> Y'all trying to get me canceled. This man got a tutu. He got a tutu. He, he made a tutu. You know what? This is what I'm going to say, man. As long as he not hurting nobody, let him uh, identify as a six-year-old girl. As long as he don't feel as though he really is a six-year-old girl and he can play house with little six-year-old boys, then let him live his truth. Let that man live his truth. It's been a long, a long time coming. I know. <laughs> mm. Okay, we have a new piece of equipment in my gym. It's called a linear hack squat. I'm gonna go through how to use it. I'm just gonna make it not scary, girl. We've got some handles on the sides. Okay, so this is how we go up and down. Number two, the safety, just like you do, like you have with the leg press, is down here, okay? So, I'm a short girl, so we're going to put it at the bottom setting, okay? Okay, we're going to put our feet parallel. We're going to go shoulder width apart. We're going to push up. Handlebars come in. We come all the way down to the bottom. Push straight back up. 
remember, no weights on a new machine because you want to feel it out before you start loading them. Hey, listen, I'm going to tell you all something. First, a very attractive young lady. Um, <sighs> that outfit, man. Like, I just hope that with that outfit, she don't feel as though men be pestering her for no reason at the gym. All right? Oh, my God, why are they staring at me? Because you, you brought your friends with you. You brought your friends with you to the gym. I saw three things, four things that could be very distracting. This is why This is why I need like a 24-hour membership so I could just start going to the gym at like 3, 4 in the morning. This, this That is exactly why, bro. She had the camel out and then she had the girl showing. Like... But you know what? I ain't I ain't gay, so I appreciate it. Um, I'm transgender. I look good. I look sexy. I look fine. I don't think it's gay that a straight man messes with a trans. I have dudes. What? Like, no, and take me out, take me to dinner, even here in Miami. The dangers of not telling is getting your head blown off. One time I didn't tell, and that situation was definitely crazy. There's this. Dude, I was fascinated about, right? I knew he worked at this certain club. He was like a big guy at the club, whatever. Straight, uh, turn, educated. He was straight? Or like oh, yeah, he his... definitely had girls. So things started progressing really fast. I was getting drinks. The next thing you know, I'm too drunk to drive. And so he was like, I'll take you home. We got in the truck. We went to his house. We go upstairs. Do, do, do. Go out to the bed. We get to the business. I'm over here like trying to act like I don't want to do nothing. And it's like the thing is when you don't tell him, you just hope and hope until like when it comes to that point that he accepts it, he got to touch it and feel it and notice certain things. And I was like, oh Lord, here it is. And instantly like snap. And oh! he mm -mm. Y'all trying to get me canceled. Who sent me this? <laughs> who? Yo, who sent me this, bro? Y'all trying to get me canceled. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. 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 Yo, this is my problem with, 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 this is my problem with the alphabet community. Y'all take people's Choice away. Y'all take their choice away. I'm going to just mess with you. And when it's time and you find out. I hope you accept it. Instead of just being honest from jump. goes to his back room and grabs like a, a AK or something. And he put an AK-47 to my head. He's like, why should I blow your head off right now? Why should I blow your head off? Oh, like, I'm shit. literally like, am I finna die today? I finally get him to calm down. And so he calms down. He's like, you know what? And I'm like, yeah. He goes to the back room, puts the gun away. He's like, let's just do it. Wow. Oh, shit. Oh. Welcome to Miami. There's girls like me everywhere. So please be careful. And do your due diligence. No! Hell no, dog. Hell no, dog. What he mean? What he mean? For, what he mean? For it? I'm a Batman. That means he was a Batman from jump. He's a Batman from jump. Let me tell you something. You come at me with that freaky sh on your goddamn Decepticon transformer. I'm I'm. <laughs> I ain't trying to get canceled, dog. I'm gonna just keep my mouth shut. I ain't trying to get canceled. I don't like I don't like stuff like this, bro. I don't like this, bro. You taking people's choices away, man. I I'm tell you a story. I used to talk to this chick who has a transgender cousin who was blackmailing an athlete. He was her transgender cousin was blackmailing an athlete, bro. 
And the messed up part is the athlete didn't even do nothing with, with the, the trans person. Don't ask me who the athlete is. I have my suspicion, but I don't know 100%. Like, long story short, he was talking to a girl. He invited the girl over. The girl bought her friend, but the girl failed to tell the athlete that her friend was a Decepticon. So, in come walking her and goddamn uh, Megatron. Or Starscream, or if you if you up on Transformers, you know what I'm saying? One of them. The girl and the and the athlete, they did the nasty. Everybody was was like up, drunk or whatever, passed out. While everybody was passed out, the the cousin who was trans got taking pictures and got to taking videos and doing all that. So when things went sour between the girl and the athlete, the Decepticon used that time to start trying to blackmail this man. And I feel as though um um her see and this is another thing with the pronouns. I feel as though her or them or she whatever was successful for a while. And like getting money out of this man because he didn't want to ruin his career. Based on something that like he, he didn't even do. It's just nobody would have believed him. Like, well how did how did how did uh he she them get the picture? Huh? How how did how did the pictures come about? How did uh damn how did goddamn Megatron get inside your house? You you have to have known. I don't like that, man. I'm telling y'all, I don't like that. My joint ain't even lighting. I gotta get a new lighter now. <laughs>